All right, I'm over here at the Versa Gripper booth, and I, I stopped by here purposely. I'm here with Willa. Who, what's your official title here? I'm one of the owners here. Oh, you're yep. one of the owners? Yeah. So you're the one who sent me my little gift package of Versa Grippers. Yes, I did, actually. I'm so glad that you love them. I, I do love them because, you know what, I'm, it, it's mostly a lazy factor. I don't like to use those straps that you hook onto that you have to wrap around the bar, and they're always coming off. And, yeah, And exactly. then they, they break in the middle of a heavy set. Right. How many times have you done heavy deadlifts and those old straps would break? Well, in the old days, it, it would happen all the time, but I'm actually very familiar with this oh, company. You, you also use them? Well, I live in Maine, and they're, they're manufactured I in Maine. I know you live in so Maine. I've Use these for over when I was training. I mean, these go back like 25 years. They have a history, right? Yeah. How, how, how did the company get started? Uh, it was started in '98, and um, actually, it, it's a family-owned business. And my dad owned a gym, and people were complaining about lifting straps. And so he said, looked at that, and he goes, "You know, I can make these better." Actually, and he's an inventor. He holds seven patents. Your dad's name wasn't Versa, was it? No, no. Oh, okay. His name is Mike. Michael okay. Parker, yeah. And he actually patented these and invented them? Yes. He, he's right there, actually. That's that's, that's your dad. That's yeah, come over dad. here. Get over here a little bit, Dad. I didn't know. He was playing coy. I thought he was the uh, yeah. the cleanup guy here. I didn't know. I You're am. the inventor. I am. I'm, 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 and, and, right, face the camera here. I'm the inventor. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting hoarse. <laughs> and janitor. No. <laughs> were, you, were you a bodybuilder or a lifter back in the day? I, I used to lift, yeah. And so you, you saw the frustration bodybuilders had with the stra old straps? People people would come into the gym, which is at a small gym, frustrated because they hated straps. And I said, you know, I hate straps too. I said, so I went back and about two days later, I came back to them with early prototype. I've got four or five other patents. Oh, you do? And so I came back at them and they were like, yeah, this is the right angle. So then a number of prototypes later, We've got what we've got. I didn't got. know anything was invented out of Maine. I really didn't. But yeah. I'm happy to know that you guys have some, some production yes, going on. Yes, and we, we actually manufacture them right in the United States, right in Maine right. as well. So it's now, very Chris, exciting. Chris, I actually like them, but I don't think that I use them right because sometimes they don't fit right. Can you show me how to put these on? Because I noticed you guys have a little barbell set up here. And I know the, the viewers out there like to see me do oh, stupid absolutely. things like lift and absolutely. punch bags like I did before. So I, I could actually, my shoulders actually function in the deadlift. So maybe you yes. could put them on my wrist. Yes. Well, there is a right and a left. And how do you know which is the right? Uh, you can tell because there's actually a little place for your thumb. Oh. So, yes. I never knew that, Chris. I've been using these for 15 years. Well, imagine that you may be using them wrong and they're working great. So yeah. imagine if you do them right. That's right. And it's a patented product because it stands up in front of your hand. So it's a self-supporting grip assist. Really? Yes. So, so I put this on this way? Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I have a big hand, so you're going to... Switch, switch hands with the microphone oh, all right. here. All right. So they're ergonomically designed to be funnel-shaped so that they rest at the base of your hand. Very comfortable, by the way. So it's not going to restrict any of your blood circulation. And it, it doesn't leave those stupid calluses on your hand because it's got padding in there. Exactly. And actually, there's a built-in arch support, so it prevents carpal tunnel. I didn't even know I had an arch in my hand. It helps to prevent, yes, just like a There's foot. the notch. That's the yes, notch you're talking exactly, about. Exactly, yes. So it stands up in front of your hand, so anytime you go do a pulling exercise, you're going to take it and simply wrap it around the bar. And the bar goes down. That I know. I get the other one on my hand, and then I'm going to try to do some deadlifts with it here and see how it feels. I think I need a new pair. I might have worn my old ones out. And uh, this is the new camouflage that just came out this oh, week. Oh, I like this. To help support the military, yeah. I, I know that Nola's going to be jealous because she's military. Yes. Look at that, military camo. Yes. They're also available in pink for women. You, you so. want pink, Chris? No, I don't want pink, but what I do Make want... the microphone. I, I want them to come up with the next Bros versus Pros, and maybe they could become a sponsor for the deadlift that. competition. Very nice. That's right. Yeah. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at yeah. what people lift. That's a good Absolutely. idea, Chris. You're becoming a marketing genius. All right. I'm going to get under the deadlift here. Okay. okay. I, I'm a little creaky because uh, I have not I'll, 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 I'll handle the narration. Here's Dave trying to do... This, these actually look like small plates, but we have 800 on the bar. 800 pounds, everybody. I'm going to do the roll. Okay. Uh, I should probably take my sneakers off, right? Because it's better. They like the, the, the you, you want to do sumo? Are you going to do a sumo style? Sumo style or regular I style? Because I like to bring my glutes. Now, hopefully, I won't split my shorts because I've done that before. Okay. Don't tear! Bad. Don't tear a bicep. We don't want two bicep tears in one weekend. That's right. Jay Cutler's enough for one. Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. And he's up, up yeah. one. Two, your middle two fingers so your grip is locked on that's right look at that yeah, look at that he's not even he's not even you're not even 
So you think that's very comfortable? Very comfortable. Yeah. I can stay like this all day. Yeah, maybe we should hold the contest. Who can hold the bar the longest like yeah, this? Exactly. I would go for Eli Blahoot. He's right. in the audience over there. Yeah. All right. Our, our grip is our uh, weakest link. So in order to max very out our good. larger muscles, right. we need the assistance with our grip because that is well, Grip proven. gives out first. Exactly. We all know that. Gives out first. Even Ronnie Coleman uses grips. And I think I've even seen him use a couple of these Versa Grippers. Yeah, I'm sold. I love these Versa Grippers. I think this is a great invention your dad had. He should be put in the Bodybuilding Hall of Fame for this. Exactly. It helps you train better. So Where can people buy these things? Oh, you can buy them at VersaGrips.com. You can also find us on Facebook. Become a fan. So it's Versa Grips. Train better. VersaGrips.com. The best grippers in the business. I don't endorse just anything. And Chris doesn't just endorse anything. These are great. Uh, I hope you guys come on board. Uh -huh. Bros versus pros. The bro if we get everyone wearing these, I bet you they do an extra five reps. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right, we got more to do. Dave Palumbo with Chris Aceto, rxmuscle.com.